Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don. And today, well, today we're going to be taking a look at Boiling Steel. That's right. So this one just launched into Early Access a couple of days ago. It's the newest title from Mirrorwind. You guys may remember them as the developers who brought us guns and stories back in the day on the Oculus Rift. And I'm not going to lie, that one wasn't my favorite, but I did get a chance to jump into this one a little early prior to their release. And, uh, you know, I gotta say, it is a lot more FPS and a lot less wave shooter like Guns and Stories was. So, I can't wait to get back in there and take you guys with me while I play a little more of it. Now, tonight we are going to be doing this one once again in the Pimax 5K+. And I know you guys are going, Don, what, what's up, man? You got all these headsets, but all we're seeing on your channel is Pimax lately. And I'm not going to lie, guys, that's because I love this damn thing. I mean, this headset blows my mind every time I put it on. Now that I've got it all dialed in and tuned and i got the comfort mods all right where I want them, this has become my favorite headset and my daily driver. So you are going to see a lot more Pimax on my channel going forward. Uh, I am slated to get their new 8K units, so I, I can't wait to show those to you. And uh, might even have a little bit of good news about me and Pimax later on. So, all right, let's jump in there and let's take a look at Boiling Steel. Okay, very nice. I'm loading you with new tools with combat firmware. Go right. and destroy all the aggressive shells. Sounds good to me, buddy. Yeah, destroy everything in my path. So, all right, welcome to Boiling what Steel. What are you waiting for? Crush them all. I'm getting there. So, all right, um, we'll, we'll go. You don't have to tell me twice. So, all right. So, like I said, welcome to Boiling Steel. Uh, I'm not going to ooh and ah about the graphics. You guys know how I feel about that. It looks great. It looks awesome in the Pimax. So, blah, 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 blah. Let's talk about the game. So, all right. Um, right off the bat, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mirrorwind, for putting in smooth locomotion with strafing, with smooth turning. However, obviously, you guys see I'm still on the old Vive ones here, and it is clunky as hell. It is the typical slide your finger. I really prefer when I press down on the track pads, uh, but... Uh, I don't know, that's just me. Now, another thing that I can tell you, it does feel really clunky right off the bat, is, is, the, is the combat in here because of the weapon. Uh, so basically, you get four shots with this thing and then you gotta like pull out a whole other weapon. So obviously, that, ooh, nice, headshot. Good start, uh, Junior. Yeah, I thought One so too. One family is safe, but it's too early to relax. Go to the next house. All right, on it. But hold on, I'm going to tell these guys about your clunky ass controls. So, um, you know, like I was saying, it's just, it's it doesn't feel very intuitive to have to bam, 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 shoot. I'm in a firefight, you know, and then I've got to drop the weapon. I've got to pull out a whole nother weapon. So, Mirrorwind, before I even start playing your game, I'm going to tell you straight up, just give us something a little more traditional, guys. Just, I mean, let me have this weapon. Let me have shots. Let me pick up ammo clips. Maybe, maybe do a little pump out action to reload it or something but this has got to go right here right now i hate it so all right i've said enough about that let's uh let's go ahead and move on here so all right so we've saved the first family here now the mission is, is basically you've got all these like robots and they're trying to attack these families and stuff And we are going to save these guys. Whoa, where are you at? Now, you do also have a dash function on here. So, I mean, I can see kind of why they did the slide your finger on the, the trackpad with the Vive ones. Because, obviously, if you press in on the dash, on the trackpad, you get a uh, slide action. Man, I'm going to harp on it the whole game. I, I hate that. I hate having to drop the damn weapon. I mean, I want to be able to just walk with the weapon in my hand, you know? 
I mean, I want to be able to actually be a little more tactical with this. And you guys are, like, killing the ability for me to do that. But holy hell, the scale in here is incredibly cool. So I'm going to give you a pass on the clunky controls because I'm really liking the graphics right now. Oh, hey. Oh, can I? No, oh, yeah, cool. Okay, so I can just run up on these guys with the energy. Uh, I think this was typically used to weld things in the in the tutorials here, but once again, it also runs out. Eh, all right. So at least we got that going on. Okay. Let's go back here to my four-shot weapon. we can kind of alternate. And obviously, I mean, you know, normally I wouldn't just stand here and get shot, but you know, like I said, movement and shooting right now with the Vive Wands, not the most intuitive thing. And, you know, I'm not going to hold that against the game. I'm going to hold that against me. I, I, guys, I just can't afford a set of index controllers. It's Christmas. Some of you, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to be very forthright. Some of you may know I lost my job recently and I, I have been unemployed for like 60 days going into Christmas with a wife and three kids. And, so just kind of hard times right now but you know rest assured eventually I'm going to get the I'm going to get those index controllers cuz I have got to get rid of these vibe wands they are the absolute shittiest controllers I have ever used in my life Job, Junior. Look <laughs> at you. You've got a knack for this. I do. I, I you know, I thank you, man. I, I, I kind of feeling it. I, I am feeling good about it. So, you know, and, and this game is obviously available for the Rift. I, I may have to pull it out and try it again uh, with the touch controllers. That way, at least I have some sticks. Um, I think it would be a lot better with that, obviously. So, I know, sad, sad, sob story. Poor, poor Don. Doesn't have, doesn't have any index controllers. Whoa, shit, no, no, no. Fry everybody, fry everything. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, it's so funny, I was watching Avengers Age of Ultron earlier. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, for some reason this is kind of giving me that vibe. The objective is clean. Wow, Marta and Emma who live here send their gratitude. Sweet. Never invited you back tonight. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know what my wife's uh, gonna say about that. But, um, no, I will not. I think I can handle Go to the both mine. Marta and Emma. There are two more houses. Only Junior. No need to rush. My ex lives with her new freak in the back house. Well, you understand. Let them get nervous. Let them get nervous. Okay. Nice. And it does feel good when you pull off a nice long shot like that, so at least you got a little bit of a snipe capability. Okay, now obviously uh, it is a gaze-based um, mechanic 
to default. You can turn that off, uh, but and I'm not gonna lie. I've gotten used to it over the years. I don't ask, I don't. So if you really want to make it more immersive, Almost you can turn off the HUD, there you can turn the off the damage numbers, you can turn uh, off all that as well. Push Junior, your uh, you, you can take a break. But why? Your ex sounds like such a lovely person. Oh my lord. There we go. Ha. Took them all Everything down. Everything here is in order. Return to the teleport hub. Go to the portal. Sweet. Get to the Stargate. Sorry. I've got Stargate on the mind. I don't know if you guys saw, but We Want Stargate was trending on Twitter last night. And I'm a huge fan. So. Listen, Junior. Is the capsule with your body at Orpheus One Station now? Then I have some bad news. Information was received about the hacking and infection of all orbital servers of the Orpheus class. Security robots and technical shells have gone crazy. They're killing everyone in their path. Well, that's and not good. After the robots deal with the station personnel, they will begin to destroy hibernation capsules with the bodies of the operators. Your real body, Junior, will be torn to pieces at any time. So now you have to save yourself. You do not need to return to the body. You can't argue with robots. Take this shell to the station and hurry up. Your time is running out. Okay. I will light it, your man. way. On it. Man, I, I will comment, you know, once again on the scale of everything. I am really digging the huge scale of this game. Alright, so a little anticlimactic. Whoa, hey now. Uh, what's what's going on with all the Stargates, man? What what is give me a sec. Some crap. Hacks teleport hub. It takes time to restore it, but you don't have that time. Run to the hyperlift capsule. It will take you into orbit in a matter of seconds. Overloads are not terrible for this shell. All right. I will light your way. Get to the capsule. Get into the hyperlift capsule, and I'll activate autopilot. And you other than dash, I could really use an actual run. There we go. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. That got me kind of weak in my knees. Love that feeling. Very cool. <laughs> Rookie, are you still alive? Uh, yeah, I'm well, here. Glory to the nano chips. Everything is very Praise bad. Be the nanos. Man. They constantly lie to us. Whoa, we are in complete shit. The whole damn planet is in shit. Full evacuation announced. The government has already left the planet. What is this? Holy crap! 
Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here, guys. There's a little story starting to build, and I don't want to give away too much for those of you who might want to actually play this game. Now, for me, some final thoughts here. You know, overall, I'm not going to lie. I like this game. I'm digging the story that's building. I'm loving the graphical style in it. Well, what I'm not liking is the controls, and that's probably because I am, as you heard me bitch incessantly during the game, I am still on the Vive Wands. And, you know, I'd be interested to hear from you guys who have played this with the, the index controllers, with the touch controllers. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it was for you. For those of us who still have the Vive Wands, for traditional Vive players, for Vive Pro players, for people with a Pimax that have come over with the original Vive Wands, it's still going to be a little clunky, but it's doable. I'm not going to say it's not. Obviously, you see I can maneuver. I just got to get better at it. But for me, guys, that's going to do it. I am going to leave a link for this one down in the description so you can grab a copy. It is in early access on Steam. Right now, I think that they said that half of the game is already done. And by the time they put it all together, it is going to be several hours of gameplay. So, all right, that's it. I'm out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.